basically says that we are given the root of a binary tree, which is this value. Okay. We also know that each node in the tree is having distinct value. Rn, why is this given? No worries, we will see it. But after deleting all the nodes with the value of 2 delete, with the value inside 2 delete, I have to return, I, I will be left with a forest. Now, forest is a bunch of trees. So this is one such tree, but after removing some nodes, you will be having a forest, which is some bunch of trees. You have to return the root of all those trees which are remaining. Now, as you have this to delete array, it says you have to delete the value 3. So you will go on and delete the value 3. As you delete the value 3, the problem simply mentioned that you have distinct values. So 3 will only occur once. So if you go and delete 3, that is just done. Go and delete 5, that is just done. Now, as you can see, after this 3, after this 5 is deleted, the tree will look like, again, when this 3 and 5, 5 are deleted, the tree will look like 1, 2, and 4, and then this is null, and then this is null. And because this is gone, the 6 and 7 are still remaining, which are the new root nodes. So these are the new root nodes, 1, 6, and 7 with their corresponding tree. 1, 6, and 7 with their corresponding tree. So this is what you have to return, the root nodes, 1, 6, and 7. Now, how will you approach it? Because you know that you have to simply traverse and find where all these nodes are located, which are actually the nodes that you want to delete. So you will do a simple traversal. Okay, so what I will do is, I will let's say copy the same thing here and will start doing a simple traversal 1, 2, 3, then 4, 5, then 6 and then 7. So now I will start a simple traversal starting from the first node because I just want to look for a node which is inside my true delete and then delete it. So I'll be at 1, traversal says go on to left, so I'll go on to left, then I'll go on to 4, okay, then I go on to 5. Oh, 5 is something which needs, which is inside my to delete array. Now, this is one node which you have to search and check if it is located or not inside your to delete. Right now it is an array. So it will take O of n time to search a number. You might say array in searching, which means binary search. I will say, bro, take a hold on and you have to just check if it is present or not. Yes or a no. In that case, we use either an unordered set or an unordered map to just check the occurrence, the presence of something. So I can either convert this to an unordered set or I can make an unordered map by saying true true that this number is true or this number is inside my to delete array, which will help me do a lookup in O of one time. Okay, now considering you have converted this to an unordered set. So what we will do, we will have to check five. Yeah, five is there. If five is there, so technically this should be deleted which means that 2's right should become null. This is 2's right. Now, when we deleted 5, we were at 5. But to make 2's right as null, at 2, we should be knowing that any of the child, either left or right, if I'm about to delete, then I will make my 2's right or left, depending upon what I'm deleting, as null. So from this, we realized that at a specific node, I will have to go and check my left and right. If my left or right is about to be deleted, then I will make sure that, okay, as you can see in this case, the right was about to be deleted. So I made it as null and I stopped. So inside my solve function, where I will be simply calling, let's say my root node, right? I will check. Again, when I am at when I am at or at, at a specific at a, when I am at a specific node, I will check that if the node's left is inside my unordered set, then I will do and make sure that node's left or I I should say let's say here is root, this is root right. So root's left or I can say root's left should become a null. And same way that if node's right is inside my unordered set, then again, nodes right should become a null. So this is what we have seen so far. Okay, then let's say this is done. Now we will traverse right side. As we traverse right, we, as we traverse right, before traversing, we realize Aryan at root node, as, as in at the node itself, after you go and check for its left and right. 
So at one, I checked its left and right. Right, I checked three. Three is also inside my two delete and not set. So I should delete three also. But which means that one's left will become null. But you realize one thing that you still have to go to three just to make sure that his the children are the new root nodes. So we realized that even after we know that this node is gonna be deleted, we still go on to that specific node. We'll still go on to our nodes right or our nodes left. Still, because of, okay, right now I am at a node which should be deleted. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. So I will check if this root should be deleted should be deleted or basically is this root is inside my unordered set inside my unordered set if yes if yes then you have to make sure that you will delete this but deleting it simply means that his children his children should become new root node which means that i will maintain a flag is root node i'll maintain a flag is root node and i will simply call if the root node is about to be deleted, then his children, which means roots left, should become actually new root node and the roots right, roots right, should also become new root node. Thus, with this, this three will be gone, this three will be gone, but now six will become new root node with a flag of true and seven will also become a new root node with a flag of false. But now you might ask Aryan, but in this scenario also, you are saying that you will put two's right as null, but still you will go on to five, but fives both left and right are null. Yeah, true. So I'll put a base condition by saying that if root is equals to null, PTR, then simply return. Don't do anything. So simply the function will be a void function. So this will be your code base case. If your root is inside your unordered set, which means to delete function, then go on to its left and right, but making your roots as true because they will be the new root node. But if it is, if, if something is not, if, if the root node is not deleted, or basically if the root node is not inside your unordered set, then make sure, then make sure that again, in the else condition, make sure that check for its left and right. If the left is inside my unordered set, then put that left as null. If the right is inside my unordered set, put the right as null. And even do, even after you do whatsoever, make sure to do one thing, just go on to those nodes. Go on to those nodes because you could have more children for the nodes which are about to be deleted. So again, in this else condition, which is so far continuing here, I will still go on to my here roots roots left and i'll still go on and do a dfs call to my roots right but the only case here will be as the root node was not deleted so these children left and right will not be new root nodes so i'll simply put them as false false because this node was not deleted so his children will not be any form of new root nodes so thus false false now you will see Aryan, the code looks good. This is the code which we have written. The code looks good. But the maksak bhool gaya. We forgot our prime aim. The prime aim was to get all the root nodes. So technically Aryan, you should make sure that whosoever is having is root as true. That should be your root nodes. Correct. So where I should put this condition? Again, the condition is if is root is true, simply have an answer vector and simply push back your current node in your answer. My question is, pause the video and tell me where I should put this condition. Do I put this condition at the point one, which means before this if condition and after the after this condition, after the first base case and before this, or I should put this condition inside my if, or I should put this condition inside my else, or I should put this condition afterwards, which means after here, which means at the point four. The question is for you. See, you will not put at the point one. Why? Because if this root node itself should be deleted, then it is not a new root node of the forest.
so i cannot put here because what if it is deleted here itself so technically i should also not put it here because if it is about to delete it then there's no point of putting it in your answer but in three i can put it because if it came to else condition which means root node was never gonna be deleted and it's also a root node again when i say root node i mean this is the node and this is root actually root or not so you can just say as node any node which is a root node so this is a good candidate and you might ask Aryan, what about after else condition technically not because what if it came to if condition but did not go to else so it will technically go outside your for like outside your this else condition and will come directly to the four so it might come from one to four which is not a good practice so as in like not a good practice as in like it will not even work because it went to if then it went to your four this 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 location after else so you realize that you will have to write it inside your point three here just simply at a condition same condition here after this else condition anywhere you can write it that's perfectly fine so this is your actual entire code cool let's see the actual code itself it's exactly same as what we discussed uh, we will simply have an unordered set which will con which will convert the vector to unordered set and then we we'll call the dfs starting from the node telling that this is the set which you have to look for and then true marking this is the this is the root node this is the root node right actual root node then you will simply call uh, your actual dfs function okay uh, let's you can replace this node with the root with the node also cool then you check if it is null simply return if not then simply go and check if that root node is actually about to be deleted if yes then go and call for its left and right with marking them as new root nodes if not if not then firstly the condition putting back your answer then checking the left is about to be deleted if yes then put the left as null if the right is about to be deleted put the right as null right as null and then simply go and call for left and right with the flag as false because the root was never deleted here and thus this is your simple else condition this is your simple if condition as it's a simple traversal so the time used is o of n and because of it's a dfs so space use also will be o of n Cool, I hope you guys got it. If yes, then do smash the like button. It helps motivate a lot. And see you. Goodbye. Do join on LinkedIn and Discord. Bye-bye. Take care. And Insta if you want.